Beauty Butterflies, it's France. This month is all about guilty pleasures for the Allure A Day Challenge. And today I'm going to start working on week five, which is book or TV. Hmm, this is a tough one. Um, as I don't know what it is I want to do, I'm going to express that by starting to work with two products. So let's get some light molding paste as well as some white cracking because Booker TV sometimes I have a hard time to choose. That's it for layer one, and now I can leave this to dry. It's dry. Meanwhile, I've been doing something else, and now that it's dry, I can go in with some color, and I opted for, again, contrast. So I'm going in with some purple and pink, and some grays, and maybe a little bit of black. And then I also have my large, water brush at the ready. So the thing is that I want to accentuate the difference between all the texture that I have on the paper, but also the paper in itself. So I have crackles, I have molding paste, I have just plain paper, and each of these will absorb the color and the water differently, and that is what I want to play around with.
I want to intensify the colors a little bit, so I'm going in with Lindy's gang. Um, because my internal struggle as whether books or TV is way more intense than this color is showing off. Okay, that's it for this layer. I want to give it some calm and tone it back a little bit. So I'm going in with three fresco finish colors, um, snowflake chalk and my all time favorite mushroom. I really want to make it a little bit more earthy without going completely into brown tones. And that is what's so wonderful about working on this surface. It's not ideal for YouTube videos, but gosh, the cleaning, 
game changing. Just a dry piece of kitchen roll and it's all gone. Okay, this layer is done. For my next layer, I have my Harlequin stencil and some slate fresco finish. And I just want to add some patterns very lightly here and there. For layer 5, I took out my Posca pens, just the black and the white, and I'm, ooh, I'm going to use these to add some shades now. This one is ready to roll and to add some splatters. <laughs>
I still have all this yummy black color there. I don't want to let it go to waste. So let's just do something with that. my stickers ready now I still have a lot of stickers on my January sheet actually all of them except for this one um, and I think that I'm going to use this one because I really like it like over here and then probably the book the word reading <laughs> reading a book okay let's get this one off and give it a little bit of the stress ink. needs one more thing for me to be able to consider it done and it's like the uplifting final touch I think you could put it that way and that would be some white splatters
I was about to take the pictures of the finalized spread, I realized that my little circle was like, poor little thing. <laughs> it needed a little something. And that is exactly what I'm going to give it. So first of all, I'm going to go in with my black pen, but not this one. That will be too thick. Let's take a finer one. If you would like to know what means what, I have a weekly overview on my Patreon page for the OnePlus patrons, where I go over each layer and what they actually mean, why I chose which color and why I applied it in a particular way. That's all I have for you today. I hope you liked today's spread. If so, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to click on the little bell to receive notifications for next time. That's a lot of things to click on. But most of all, don't forget to put down a layer a day. See you next time. Butterfly kisses.